going to talk about the car note cycle C A R N O T C Y C L the car note cycle all right so let's say we have a gas here we have a gas here and it is fitted with the uh, frictionless and weightless piston and we heat it very 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 slowly in finite amount of time takes to heat this gas let's say we supply uh, 500 joule of heat energy in that process at the beginning we have pressure p1 and volume v1 of this gas after it absorbs the 500 joule of heat energy very 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 slowly isothermally and reversibly let's say the pressure and volume of the gas becomes p2 and v2 the pressure and volume of the gas becomes p2 and v2 let's say the temperature of this and this is high temperature we call high temperature this is this is also high temperature this state is also high temperature all right so after that uh, what we do is this is isothermally reversibly expansion all right so after that what we do is we allow this gas to expand a little bit by adiabatic process so we yes, we do adiabatic expansion here adiabatic expansion expansion process adiabatic expansion process all right so that adiabatic expansion this gas uses this own energy and push the piston a little bit up all right so it goes a little bit up like this the piston goes a little bit like up like this like this all right so adiabatic expansion and then after that what we do is we start to do the compression so from outside we supply the electricity electricity we supply the electricity to compress this gas all right so this is a this is a this gas and we compress this gas applying the electricity and then uh, the temperature of this becomes low this is a low temperature system this is also low temperature all right so this is low temperature this is also low temperature and we supply the electricity here to compress this gas from this state to this state and further uh, further what we do is we further uh, supply the electricity here we use more electricity here to compress this gas adiabatically adiabatically all right adiabatically means no heat goes inside no heat comes outside from this system but we supply the electricity here more electricity here and we this at the initial stage so let's say here we also supply electricity to compress this gas adiabatically so this is also adiabatic adiabatic this is also adiabatic you see that so how much heat energy we absorb here 500 joule heat energy absorb so what is the work going from here to here so the work here is the work here is 500 joule 500 joule all right so let's say this is w1 and how much work we got from going from this state to this state by adiabatic expansion process suppose this is w2 and let's say this is 20 joule all right this is 20 joule and how much uh, electricity we used from going to uh, this state to this state we apply the electricity to compress this uh, piston down we use the electricity so let's say we use that electricity equals to 300 joule all right so this is 300 joule electricity we use to compress this gas from this state to this state this is also isothermal process and from this state what we did is we apply more electricity and compress this gas adiabatically and we reach to the initial state right here so how much since here since here uh, w2 equals to 20 joule here in adiabatic process we got 20 joule work here so the same amount of work uh, we should use same amount of energy we should use to go from this state to this state so here the w4 is equals to 20 joule 20 joule all right 20 joule you see that this is the work we are obtained this is plus uh, this is also the work we obtained this is also plus how we got this work by using this heat 500 joule of heat all right so these are the work we got there but how much electricity we consume to compress the system here we use 300 joule this is we used 300 joule electricity to compress this uh, piston down and here we to, to compress this piston from here to here to this this state we use 20 joule so that is also the electricity we use so that is minus 20 joule see that this and this one are gain this is plus this is plus but this one and this one are minus so this is minus this is also minus this is plus this is also plus all right so what is the benefit we got here let's calculate the benefit uh, so benefit all right so benefit benefit so benefit equals to so the work 
that's a benefit that's a benefit plus 20 is a benefit minus 300 is investment uh, and also minus 20 that's also the investment you see that so how much is this one is this one cancel so 500 minus 300 is 200 joule is the net work or the net benefit we got out of the system if you want to calculate the efficiency efficiency so this is the net benefit or the net work done and this is the net investment this is the heat is the net investment so you divide that investment this is the benefit this is the investment and you multiply by the hundred so that would be 40 percent all right so if you calculate this this comes to be the 40 percent so this is the Carnot cycle and Carnot cycle is the cycle or the machine that has the maximum efficiency no machine can have efficiency more than 40 percent or i mean the Carnot engine the Carnot engine is the engine that has the maximum efficiency all right thank you very much